What's going on YouTube? I often get asked, Mr. Streamer, what is egg? And why do you egg? Or when do you egg? How do you egg? Eggs. Now, the biggest thing is, egg is a kind of complex unit, right? If you've watched my positioning video, egg is a complex unit because it requires you to hold the egg without popping it for two waves, right? That means you have to plan around making sure you actually can get the egg out and not leak on certain waves like three to a brute, etc. Um, you don't want that egg scrambled. If the egg scrambled, you're sitting in a bad position, right? The reason why I say egg is a more of a mid-level to a high-level strat is that you and your teammate both have to hold three. And that is a very difficult ask for a lot of new players, right? As you get higher up, people are more likely to 20 you on one or send you on two rather than save all the way to three or four. If you've seen my cheese mask egg strat, you'll know there is ways to get around it, but it's a difficult unit to get out. The most reliable way I'd say to get egg out is you go Grarl on one, egg on two. That is the most consistent way to get egg out and the most consistent way you're going to be able to hold. If you go something like a let's say a windhawk or a chain fist or something of the sort s sell the unit and drop an egg you are much more likely to leak on two or three because you're not going to have the required gold to hold the egg on three to a brute or a dt now let's say okay mr streamer i've got a growl on one and i place my egg on two how do i stop a dt from leaking me because realistically on two if they send you a dt or double snail, you can leak your egg onto to those sends. What you need is a whole variety of T1s, okay? So a Peewee boosted can hold an egg on two to a DT. You have to boost it and have it pretty close to the egg, it will hold. A single mask will also hold a DT on two with an egg. Double polywogs in the back, Double Buzz will hold, as well as Double Protons will hold. There are a couple other options, right, on how to hold it, but those I think are the most consistent. Most of the time it's T1s, and the T1s you see here are the most easy to do. Bone Warrior is theoretically possible, but not very good, as well as looters are just not the play. You can get it to work, but you got to place four looters and then hope that none of them take aggro and die. It's kind of just a pain in the butt. Anyway. Okay, streamer. You don't get a DT on two. I'm about to get brooded on three. What do I do? So there are a couple ways to hold brute three. None of them are really that consistent. Some are more so than others. If you have polywogs, you're looking great. Polywogs in the situa in the setup I have here will hold a brute on three and hold it pretty easily. But if you get a snail or double DT, you will leak with this setup. So keep that in mind. There's also a potential for a serpent to be on the top left of your egg, as well as some type of backline like a, a mask or a boosted peewee, etc., um, to try to kill the brute. It's doable, not consistent. There are a million ways, though, to hold a DT on three. Um, before I forget, though, there is a couple discords and even Steam guides on how to hold uh, an egg with a brute on three. I'd recommend checking those out. There's a million different ways to crack the egg, and there's a million different ways to hold it. So I recommend checking out. I think it's Dan Wolf's Discord has a lot of stuff, um, and if needed, I can probably drop a link below. But to hold a DT on two, you've got a lot of options. You can do a lizard, uh, not a lizard, a uh, serpent. You can have a infiltrator and boost it. You can have a cat. You can up a proton. You can up your mask. You can even up a peewee and boost that on two, on three, excuse me. And um, a boosted peewee, I think, will actually hold a, a brute as well. Placement might be required to place it on the right-hand side, but I believe a boosted, a boosted veteran will hold. If you've got something like Gargoyles, it's pretty easy to hold the DT. Just place a Gargoyle or two in the split, as well as your T1 that's normally here. Pretty simple. Um, DTs are much easier, right? You just up a Mass Spirit. You can get a Consort. 
etc. All of those will hold pretty easily. Now, I often get asked then, okay, if I have a one or one stack or a full stack egg, when do I go for a second egg? And that question is kind of subjective, right? It depends what your spells are. If you've got something like Pawn Shop at your disposal, Pawn Shop, it makes it a lot easier to go for a second egg because if the egg pops with zero stacks, meaning it popped right away that same wave, it still sells for, I think it's 258. And that 258 means you had a 2,000 health tank with splash damage and reflect that you basically spent what 15 gold on right realistically it's 17 gold um 17 gold's not bad at all for a tank and um makes them actually kind of viable to just spam on some waves when you need tanks that are not on magic waves right if you did it on 14 you're liable to get in a bad situation because it's still a, a natural tank um right so it's not good there but let's say you need a bunch of tanks for 16 or i don't know 17 18 19 even placing eggs um is a decent way to get some money out of the the unit the only downside is you're still losing still losing some uh still losing some gold um otherwise what you want to do is let's say i get a i get a 400 send on 12 and I'm like, okay, my builds are even 11, right? I get a 400 cent on 11. And I'm like, okay, my build's really good 12 and pretty good 13. I can basically just not push workers and drop two eggs, right? If I just don't push workers, right, and take all that extra value from the send that I got and just put it all into eggs, that's how you do a late mid to late game egg. Whenever you get sent, whenever you think you can, you just start dropping eggs. And those eggs will never... You know, they not, might not always hold fully, but they're always going to be great tanks, and they're always going to give you really good value out of them because they delay forever. So dropping late game eggs is as simple as just not building a worker and placing them down. But it's still a risky proposition. If they resend you after you leak on 11, and you have two eggs on 12, and you weren't as good as you thought you were, you're about to leak, and you're about to pop two eggs, and you're about to be really behind then. You didn't push the workers. You just had two eggs pop early, which now means they're really bad on 13, 14, and 15. Um, so I would really recommend you're going to want eggs whenever you think you're safe, whenever the game is a large income game, and whenever you think you can get away with it. I wouldn't recommend eggs all the time, and I think eggs are a very complicated unit. I'd much rather see new players utilize antlers, yazoras, boars, anything of that sort, but an egg can be very strong if you can get it to work. Keep in mind though, you still have to have a teammate that holds and you still have to hold yourself with an egg. So I recommend not doing it as a low elo. Wait till you get to higher elo and you'll start to see eggs being able to be held a little bit more frequently. Low elo though, you're more likely than not gonna get double brooded on three. Your teammate probably gonna leak small, if not even the brute and a bunch of creeps. You're not gonna have an egg, it's gonna die and you're gonna be in a bad state, game state. Keep that in mind. Um, as well as you still need help on seven and eight with an egg. If you don't have something like a veteran or a mask and you're sitting here like, how am I going to like, oh yeah, I got an egg. It's two stack. But then you go into seven and you don't have anything for it. You're going to leak hard. An egg is still really vulnerable seven. So keep that in mind. I think that kind of goes over a brief overview of eggs. I get asked this question a lot. Eggs are great, but they're also the worst. They're one of those units like Hellgates, like a lot of things, that if you can get them out and you can sustain it, fantastic. You're in a road to winning. The problem is that road doesn't always lead to a win if you scramble. And so um, I would say keep it in mind. If you can keep it alive for one round, it's better. If you can keep it alive for two rounds, you're sitting in a really good spot. If it dies round one and you have zero stacks on it, you're kind of out of the game for a bit. It requires you to come back pretty hard. So that's eggs. Hope this helps you out. If so, uh, like the video, comment, subscribe to my YouTube channel, and I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.